Since the introduction of the uh, uh, cryo balloon advance, we noticed uh, uh, a significant decrease in, in um, um, fluoroscopy time, in procedure time, and an increase in um, efficiency of uh, the cryo lesions. And what we've noticed in the current generation, in the, in the, adva in the advanced balloon, is that Practically, we never see um, recurrence of conduction. Since the uh, introduction of the Arctofront Advance, uh, certainly it's a much easier tool to use. With the second generation balloon, we see a lot more people just pick up the balloon and really just run with it very easily. And seeing the uh, Achieve uh, recording and seeing the Pomivane isolation live is very gratifying. What I like most about the Arctofront Advanced System is the, really how user-independent it is. Uh, it's very forgiving to anatomy. So procedure time came down to roughly 98 minutes in mean. Uh, fluoroscopy time came down from 19.5 down to 13 minutes. Um, all other parameters uh, which we uh, took during the procedure uh, were very, very much in favor of the second generation cryo balloon. And um, this is um, actually, that was the motivation to share our experience from, let's say, a long-term European user center, and uh, that's why we brought it up here at HRS. My staff and my lab, they like the cryo balloon very much. Cryo still, in my mind, just says elegance, because it's just the most elegant way to create a lesion without causing uh, untoward uh, tissue effects and inflammation. The lesion is stable, is um, the gentlest uh, way of ablating intracardiac tissue. Crime balloon ablation is uh, straightforward. It uh, con confers the philo philosophy of an easy, straightforward procedure using a balloon, one balloon, a single transeptal, and one spiral catheter. And um, therefore, it's a very elegant procedure, which is also fun to do. I think it's a very promising uh, tool, which I also, I'm, per I'm personally, I'm convinced, will change uh, the treatment in paroxysmal AFib ablation patients. So I think. A lot of patients in the future will be treated with a balloon device.